Peace family, SEK the Homesteader here with another show and tell you guys. So, you guys, y'all know I got the bug, right? So, um, I started with these after the batik fabrics, um, tops, uh, for my pillowcase, pillow, I'm sorry, pillow, um, tops. So, after I finished with the batiks, I didn't never finish the batik pillows because I want to find the perfect batik color to go with the tops that I showed you guys last week. So, this weekend is the quilt festival here, not here in my county, but the county over. So, it's going to be at um, one of these uh, dome places, you know, that hold concerts and things of that nature. So, it's a big, it's a big venue. So, I'm, I'm excited about getting to that quilt, quilt festival. So, when I finished the back teaks, not finished them, when I did the tops, I went on and started learning other... Um, uh, blocks. So to the far left is called the 3D pinwheel. And when I tell y'all that is very easy to do, and I'm going to do a video on that. I promise you guys, the one in the middle is the cathedral window. And that one is actually, I would say it is advanced, but a beginner could do it. Cause that's my first time doing this multi multi cathedral window. And as you can see, there is uh, five different windows in that middle uh, pillow. And the one to the right is also the 3D pinwheel. I had so much fun making these, you guys. I've told y'all, I'll be up in early in the morning just to get that itch out. Um, and like I said, when you are crafting, sewing, whatever you do, whatever craft you do, when you get that itch, you have to, you have to um, take care of it. So, um, over the, uh, weekend I was doing these and I had so much uh, fun doing these and these are completed. So let me show you the backing. The backing on all of them is the same. And the size of these is, uh, 16 by 16. The batik tops that I did last week are 20 by 20. So again, I want to find the perfect um, backing for those. I don't want to just put any old type of backing because that is batik fabric. So I have to find the perfect backing for that. So I'm hoping when I get to this quilt uh, festival this weekend, I will find some awesome, beautiful um, batiks. It, it's going to be loaded down over there at that festival. So I'm looking forward to shopping till I drop. <laughs> and I'm going to try my best to bring you guys some footage on that as well. So let's get a closer look on what these pinwheels is looking like. And you guys, look at these buttons. Are these not the cutest buttons? Oh my goodness. So um, if you're into buttons, there's a lot of quilters that are button addicts. Um, these are the most adorable buttons I've ever seen. And okay, remember I told you guys, there's always going to be errors that people don't see. This one has multiple errors in there. It looks really, really good, but I know where the errors is at. And if you look closely, you will figure out where the errors is at too. But it's still a beautiful piece. Uh, this one over here is the cathedral window. And there are errors in that too, but it's still a beautiful piece. Nobody's going to care about the errors that, that, that are made if you're making something for someone. They're going to see how beautiful it is. I promise you. Um, this one turned out really nice for me to be a beginner um, with cathedral windows. And like I said, this takes more time to do multi-cathedral windows. You want to pace yourself, like maybe get your fabrics ready the day before, uh, get them pinned up so you know exactly how to sew them. And I promise you guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do this one as well. But I'm going to show you the more simpler one, which is the three seam one that I showed you last week. And this one also is a beautiful one. I fell in love with these buttons. These buttons are adorable as well. So, um, this is the backing on them. So, let me turn that around. So, that is the backing. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a pretty fabric. It's a simple fabric. Um, it doesn't need to be that much when you're dealing with the backing part, especially if the, the front part is so adorned with different um, fabrics, buttons, and things of that nature. So that is SK. 
That is my label right there, Made with Love by Naturette. Essie Coupois. All right. So, um, let me get this turned back around. So, this is my show and tell for this week. And you guys, I'm I'm really excited about the fall that's coming because that's when I usually do my most crafting. I don't know why I am still crafting, but I'm telling you, I'm I'm able to juggle the garden, the shop, and um my uh craft addiction. So this is what I'm doing right now. And again, I promise you guys I am going to do a video on these and pinwheel. These are very easy to make. It's all about placement. So I will do a video on this as well as this but this one will come before this one because i want to get you guys used to making one cathedral window and then after you make one you will learn how to make multiple like people make a whole quilt just like this so it is time consuming um so like i said when you quilting it's best to prepare your fabrics the day before meaning you want to press your fabric starch them up or cut them get them organized your placement you want to get your placements right and the uh pinwheel is all about placement placement and um contrasting fabrics so as you can see i tried to use four different fabrics in each pinwheel so that you can actually see the pinwheel so um that's a good note to take when you're doing pinwheels and this is again the 3d pinwheel so um i will again do videos on these i'm really excited about what the fall is going to bring and um right now i really want to focus on um getting my room the way i want it to be um functional as far as camera placement so that you guys can really um see what what is happening on the underneath the uh sewing machine as well as cutting and um pressing lining up seams things of that nature all right you guys so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i i really look we have to do like uh maybe a tag on instagram <clears throat> excuse me once you guys learn the method but as I said before, these are very easy to make. It's all about uh, placement, okay? So, I will see you guys in the next video. This is SEK, the Homesteader. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. See you guys real soon on the next video. Peace.